Ladies and gentlemen, today's game was very interesting because it involved two teams that were evenly matched. And these teams I'm talking about are South Africa and Zambia. Now, there has been a rivalry between South Africa and Zambia, mainly due to the fact that in Africa Cup of Nations, which, which happened this year in July, there was some kind of tension that went and talked about and this is because they were given a goal that was unfair that led to Zambia losing and not qualifying to the final now today we met and today we were there to show who is the better team and today we had the full team which involved having Barbara Banda and the rest of the team intact so we played South Africa who had this squad and this squad of South Africa involved has a lot of players that come from abroad they actually brought in more players from abroad to actually play with them. So as the game began, South Africa began with an attack, which I think was rehearsed. And this was almost a goal against Zambia. This was the first shoot of the game and first play of the game. And it was almost a goal. So this actually riled up Zambia because South Africa started with a bang. And, you know, because of this bang start, South Africa got the morale. But Zambia did not shortly uh, rest. They started attacking just a few minutes after South Africa attacked. And this was the first attack. But in the first half, we had a problem because we were playing against the wind. So every shot that the Zambian player would make would be pushed back by the wind. So it was not that much good for Zambia. But as we went into the second half, if you can see here, because of the wind, the shot goes up and it goes in the other direction. So the keeper was protected by the wind, which made the players not play as much as they would play in the other half. So... We attacked more as Zambia because that is our nature as Zambia. If you look at the whole game, it was all Zambia attacking. I did not, they did not just get highlights for Zambia, but I got highlights for the whole game. And the reason why I'm actually commentating in it is because I'm trying to avoid any kind of copyright strikes and also give you the chance to watch these highlights again. Now, this game was interesting. Look at uh, Barbara Banda. She gave it her all, but she was given two people to, to, to contain her. And in the first half, Barbara Banda was contained because she's our main striker, as you know. And that is why I'm talking about her in general. But she was contained by two defenders that, they were, as, that were assigned to her. Every time she had the ball, they would go directly to her and they would push her and all that. So this is extra time that I went to extra time because we didn't have a lot of things happening in the game. But in extra time, Zambia took the lead as we started pushing very much because we wanted a win. We did not want to go to penalties because penalties are unpredictable. And Zambia knows it, and that is a good part of this, because most of our games have been lost in penalties. So this was the first half of the extra time, and we were still pushing, trying to get a goal that we well deserved. Because the whole game we had been playing, if you look at all the betting sites, they were showing that Zambia was the better team in this case, because of our attack also our composure even though i did not like the way we were handling the ball i think in a way south africa was handling the ball very well but they did not have the good touch they did not have many chances to touch the ball but whenever they got the ball they would have good ball control all right they would not let the ball leave them a lot and that is what helped them to to stand out and also to push the game up to the end but if you've watched the game you know that they did not survive the end because we won the game by a margin of one nil which could have been more than one nil in this case you know we squandered a lot of chances but what is most important is that we took the chances that we were supposed to take and that really helped us win the game so um, if you look at the encounters that South Africa has had with Zambia Zambia has had less chances of winning and this is the first goal that Zambia scored in the tournament and that was in the 18th minute of extra time and now South Africa had lost it all because Zambia had not considered a goal at all in the whole tournament if you count the goal that zambia was scored which lushomo scored that was an on goal so which means in principle zambia has no goal considered so they would not start conceding today when they are leading and south africa knew it if you look at the fans most of the fans started even leaving the stadium because they knew that as soon as zambia scored it was all lost for south africa and that is what we wanted and that what that is what we got look at the fans they were leaving disappointed knowing that there's nothing left for south africa at the moment you know because zambia is the stronger team in this case if you look at all the teams in the tournament everyone knew that zambia was going to win and we proved everyone right now looking at uh, the pole possession we had a good run they had a good run and kudos to our team we won by one new margin look at the goal once once again all thanks to belemu uh 
who gave it to Barbara and it was a wonderful touch. The keeper had no chance over this one. So here you have it. Zambia wins the match, wins the Kosafa Women's Cup with a one new lead. We are the champions of Kosafa. Kudos to Zambia, kudos to the Coppola Queens and kudos to everyone that supported. Thank you very much for watching. Like our channel, subscribe and share. This is Maxwell Z Gambit and I wish you a wonderful day.